of a tough guy industry. And they're not supposed to be affected by this, or at least they think that. But the truth is, we're also humans. They're usually the first ones on scene and the last to leave. So getting some form of PTSD, especially after a mass shooting, is not uncommon. Mental health is a big aspect of of uh, what we need to be taking care of in our guys because not everybody can process things the same and and every one of us has probably run on an incident at some point in our career that you know you, we still deal with you know and will deal with the rest of our lives. But getting first responders to open up about what they've been through can be difficult and that's why critical incident stress team was deployed. Rather than encouraging a guy who probably won't go to counseling to go to counseling, we show up as first responders who, say, who have some of this training and these interventions and they'll talk to us because they know that we're one of them. The team sat down with firefighters and hashed out how they can respond better and what was out of their control. What was unique about this was they traveled and so there was a lot of confusing information. We think that there's multiple shooters in our city killing people randomly. Despite the confusion, LFR says Odessa's first responders did exactly what they were supposed to do. And now Lubbock is preparing for the same. We have to see this as something that's going to happen in Lubbock someday, and we have to prepare for that. God forbid anything like this would ever happen in Lubbock, but I think we, we're at, at the top of our game right now and would be able to respond to that.